in the previous part we calculated the other characteristic or parameters which included time of concentration TC in hours and delay time TD in hours and lag time in minutes in this part we will continue calculating the remaining parameters and variables where we will calculate the erosion using the Javelovich equation for, for erosion where this model is applied through a series of equations as follows W equal T multiply H multiply N multiply Z cube to power 0.5 where W equal annual rate of erosion in meter cube per kilometer square per year T equal heat coefficient which is calculated by the following equation T equal between brackets 0.1 multiply T naught plus 0.1 to power 0.5 T naught equal annual average of temperature H equal annual average of, of rain in millimeter N equal 3.14 and Z equal erosion factor the erosion factor Z is the most important component of the Javlovich model as it is useful in attracting the change in erosion level over time to choose the effect of levels of a practice and change in activities and land uses. The erosion levels are classified according to Z to the value of Z as shown in table 1 as this value ranges from 0 when we were when, we, when there is no erosion to more than 1.5 where there is very se very severe erosion table 1 category of erosion levels according to the value of erosion factor which include erosion level erosion factor average value as we see The erosion factor is calculated using the following equation Z equal Y multiply XA multiply between brackets Q plus DS to power 0.5 where Y equal soil susceptibility factor for erosion XA equals soil protection factor, Q equals erosion evolution factor and drainage network evolution and BS equals basin slope. The value of this equation is extracted from the table 2. Where table 2 descriptive factors used in estimating the value of erosion factor, where this table includes soil,
where the table to include soil susceptibility factor for erosion which depends on soil type and soil and soil protection factor XA which depended on land use and erosion evolution factor and drainage network evolution which is based on our study and our knowledge of the study area as we see then we can calculate ER by this equation ER equal W multiply A where ER the amount of annual basin erosion in meter cube per year A equal basin area in kilometer square And then we can classify the erosion according to table 3 where table 3 erosion levels according to annual rate of erosion W which include category and W in meter cube per kilometer square per year and erosion level as we see now that we got to know a summary of calculation of ER where ER the amount of annual basin erosion in meter cube per year we now perform the calculation where we first calculate the value of T where T heat coefficient which is calculated by the following equation T equal between brackets 0.1 multiply T naught plus 0.1 to power 0.5 where T where T naught equal annual average of temperature the value of T naught which is the annual average of temperature can be obtained from the weather maps or maps prepared for this purpose for the country that contains the study area basin where in this project this map is located on the desktop inside inside the file titled annual average temperature and then inside the file Iraq annual average temperature UTM and in it it is the map Iraq annual average temperature UTM dot JPG this map as we see To calculate T naught, we make for it copy. Then we go to Excel file that contains the mathematical characteristics, and we make a paste for it in the first line of the next column. To calculate the value of T naught, which is the annual average of temperature, we go to the project in ArcMap. <coughs> where we add a, a map of Iraq annual average temperature via add data.
Then we go to the following path. This is top. Annual average temperature. Iraq annual average temperature UTM. Then we open Iraq annual average temperature UTM dot JPG. <coughs> To calculate the annual average temperature for the sub-basin in the study area, <coughs> we open the catchment layer table and we activate the first line of sub-basin number one where we find the annual average temperature for the sub-basin number one is 20 where we go to Excel file to the field title T0 and we type 20 for subdivision number 1. Then we activate the subdivision number 2 where we find the annual average temperature for the subdivision number 2 is 20. Where we go to Excel file to the field title T0 and we type 20 for subdivision number 2. Thus, we calculate the annual average temperature for the rest of subbasins and for all study area basin. Here, we have already extracted the values of the annual average temperature for the subbasins and for all study area basin. The results are for the T0 values as found here in the Excel file where we activate these values and we make for them copy then we go to Excel file that contains the mathematic characteristics and in it we go to the field T0 and we make paste the annual average temperature for the Subbasins appears to find the value of annual average temperature for all study area basin. We go to the last line and we write and we type equal. Then we go to formula and we choose average. The value of annual average temperature for all study area basin appears, which is 20.94. Now we calculate the value of T using this equation. Where we go to Excel file that contains the morphology characteristics and we type T in the first line of the next column. To calculate this value we go to the second line of the field title T and we type the equation as follows as we see The value of T or heat coefficient for the sub-basins and for all the study area basin appears as we see. After calculating the value of T or heat coefficient, we calculate the value of H 
where edge equal annual average rain in millimeter The value of H, which is the annual average of rain in millimeter, can be obtained from the weather maps or maps prepared for this purpose for the country containing the area, the study area basin. As in this project, this map is located on the desktop inside the file titled Annual Average Precipitation in Millimeter. To calculate the value of H, which is the annual average rain in millimeter, we go to the project in ArcMap. Where we add the ma a map of the annual average of rain in millimeter via add data. Then we go to the following path, this is top, annual average precipitation, Iraq annual average precipitation, UTM, then we go, then we, then we open Iraq annual average precipitation, UTM.jpg, to calculate the annual average of rain in millimeter for the sub-basins and the study area basin, we open the catchment layer table, We open the catchment layer table. Then we activate the first line of sub-basin number one, where the annual average of rain in millimeter for sub-basin number one is 500 millimeter, where we go to Excel file and we go and we type and we type H. Which is in millimeter in the first line of the, of the next column. And we type 500 for the sub-basin number 1. Then we activate one of the sub-basins. Let it be sub-basin number 58. Where the annual average of rain in millimeter for sub-basin number 58 is 91. As we see on the map, where we go to Excel file to the field title edge and we type 91 for the sub basin number 58. Thus, we calculate the annual average of rain in millimeter for the rest of sub basin. And for all study area basin, here we have previously extracted the values of annual average of rain in millimeter for the sub basin and for all study area basin. The results are for edge, are for the edge value as found here in the Excel file where we activate these values and we make for them copy. Then we go to Excel file that contains the mathematical characteristics and in it we go to the field, to the edge field and we make paste the annual average rain in millimeter for the sub-basin affairs to find the value of the annual average of rain in millimeter for all study area basin 
we go to the last line and we type equal then we we go to formulas and we choose average the annual average of rain in millimeter for all study area basin appears which is 421 Then we have the value of n in the equation, which is 3.14. We content with making these calculations in this part, and in the next part, we will continue to make the rest of calculations represented by calculating the value of z, which is erosion factor. Then we go to Excel file and we save the result by clicking on save. <coughs> then we go to the arc, to the arc map and we save the project by clicking on save. Whereas in this part we contend with the calculating the value for the annual average of rain in millimeter. In the next part we will calculate the erosion using the Jablovich equation for erosion.